kid, I always remember looking at the TV movies and everything and saying, man, I want to be just like Chuck Norris or just like Bruce Lee. And that was just because they were my role models. Now, we all have role models, and we all look up to somebody. Nowadays, many teenagers look up to professional athletes as their role models, right? And many kids just grow up looking at just athletes play on the big screen, and they want to be just like them. They want to get the same accomplishment, and then break their accomplishments and be better. So, what I plan to accomplish is that... Um, what I plan to accomplish is that athletes should be better role models for these kids, right? For my credibility, I um, read articles from Marilyn Price Mitchell, who has a PhD in psychology, Lee Steinberg, who is a sports commentator, Amanda McClintock, uh, Mr. Brown, and John Power. So the athlete's behavior should be important. The athlete's behavior should be important enough that kids can follow it throughout their life. Now, what I'm going to talk about is, first, the role the media plays in making the athletes so important as role models. And two, I'm going to talk about the attributes that athletes should teach growing kids. So one of the ideas is that the athletes should be better role models because the media shows them on TV all the time. In fact, Dr. Brown says that because the media talks about money and wealth and power, Athletes become role models because they have money, wealth, and power. They're on TV all the time. They're there. They're presented to everybody 24-7. In fact, Dr. St uh, Mr. Lee Steinberg um, says that our society is so sport-oriented that whether we want them to or not, young kids are going to look up to these athletes. And he says this because if you turn on the TV, the first thing you're going to look at is sports. It, it might be on the news, it might be on ESPN, it might be a football game. And everybody looks at the football games, and everybody has big parties, and everybody looks at them. So that's what makes athletes be so, uh, role models for a lot of kids. If, and then Dr. Tower actually says that the problem with the media's approach uh, to athletes is that oftentimes they don't show the good stuff. They focus on the negative, on the negative aspects. So for example... When Lance Armstrong did drugs and he won um, cycling, they harped on him for weeks. Whereas somebody, some athlete scores a touchdown or does something amazing or donates a lot of money to a foundation, that's not talked about for weeks. That'll be talked about for a day, maybe two, if they're lucky. So Dr. Tower says that what the media should really talk about is just the positive. They should be focusing on the positive so that the growing kids can know what they should do in society and what they should really focus on. Not these bad things, right? Now this is going to lead me to my second point. Athletes should be better role models and they should teach, uh, they should be better role models because growing kids look up to them and they want to be just like them. So Dr. Price Mitchell mentioned some attributes that young adults or growing kids look for in their athletes, right? One, athletes should demonstrate a clear set of values. Which means if they're gonna, they should be honest at all times. They should be focused on what they have to do, and they should not say today, okay, today I did great and we were a team, and then tomorrow he's doing something terrible. No, he should demonstrate a clear set of values that he can follow every day in and out of the court. Two, athletes should be self selfless rather than selfish. Which that means is if it's a team sport, then make it a team sport. If you're outside of the, of the court, then make sure that you're helping everybody else, right? We want our growing kids to be able to be selfless. You don't want to have selfish kids running around. And third, uh, Dr. Price Mitchell says that um, athletes should demonstrate the ability to overcome obstacles. That way kids can also learn this ability and say, okay, I'm going through a hard time, but this person went through a hard time too, and he made it through, so I'm going to make it through. Right? Then we have uh, Amanda McClintock who says that as long as athletes engage in positive issues, they should, be they should be allowed to be role models. They should be presented on the media more and they should be there. Uh, she goes on to mention that we show on TV uh, the behavior of Charlie Sheen, 
could drink. So that's that they show it on TV. And actually, he's paid more money than a lot of, a lot of other actors that do not do that kind of stuff. Why do we do that? Are we teaching our kids that drinking and doing and partying is better? That they're going to get more money by doing this? That getting attention is all that life is about? No. She says that athletes and athletes should focus mainly on doing the good things so that kids know. Because kids are going to look up to them. I, I, I established that before. Kids are going to look up to them whether they want to or not. Then Dr. Tower argues that many um, athletes should also demonstrate humility. He, in his article, he talks about Henderson, uh, a baseball player with last name Henderson, who was very selfish w while he played sports and everything. Well, he, but then he was inducted into the Hall of Fame, and he came in and said, thank you, everybody, for everything that you did. Thank you for my teammates. Thank you for my coaches. Thank you for everything. He said that that humility marked a statement for all the growing kids. The kids should be remembered who to thank, who to thank, that they should always take advice, that they should be thankful that they have people around them to help them. They, he said that humility is one of the biggest attributes that people can show in their life. And he wants kids to know it while they're growing up, not when they're 36 or something. He wants them to know when they're 12. Lastly, uh, Steinberg says that um, athletes should encourage kids to be better people. What that means is athletes should be involved in their community and they should, um, actually, athletes are involved in their communities. Most of them are. They should be involved in their communities. They should help out. They should teach the kids that as much as they get, they should give out. Just so that kids who admire these people and idolize these athletes can just do the same. They can give out. Give, give back to the people. Give everything. So in conclusion, the media... Um, the media plays a big role in who we pick as role models, but we should pick that the media should show the good stuff rather than the bad stuff. And two, athletes should possess, should possess certain attributes that they should demonstrate to the little kids so that they can also model this and grow up and be better. And I think that we should all make sure that we make that the kids have somewhere, someone to look up to that's positive rather than negative. And we can all make sure of that. Thank you very much.